Shorty must become a probability beast to save the universe. In the final episode, you will have to find the probability that Kenny will survive. Join us and help him, because it's a tough one. Haha, <laughs> look at his face! Hey! That's not fair, mate! I've already figured out the arrangements! I hope so. We will use what you already know to explain the combinations to you. It is the continuation of the lesson on enumeration. We saw in the second episode that if 60 kittens race, the number of possible podium places is an arrangement of three kittens out of 60. That's 60 times 59 times 50 I equals 105,320 possible podium placements. Now, if I told you you could randomly pick three kittens to adopt, how many possibilities would you have? Huh? It's all the same, isn't it? No, little buddy, it's not the same thing. Because on a podium, it's not the same being first, second, or third. The order in a race is important. Think about it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a race. With the same three kittens, you can make up six different podiums. We've already seen that. It's a permutation. Oh, yes, that's true. However, if I choose three kittens to adopt, if I take all three, there's no order between them. Precisely. So there are six times fewer possibilities. It will be a combination of three kittens out of 60. In other words, the number of ways to choose three elements out of 60, regardless of the order. I see. So a combination is an arrangement divided by permutations, right? Yes. That's it. We're on the right track. Full Morty. Hip hip. Hooray! Usually, we say that P amongst N is a combination, or binomial coefficient, P elements among N, or the number of ways there are to choose P objects among N without taking into account the order. Here's the formula. It only works if N is greater than or equal to P, and that's logical. You can choose more than kittens than there are. I think that I've understood. You think? Well, we are going to use the riddle that has appeared to test your knowledge. How many triangles can be formed using these nine points? Well, to make a triangle, you just need to connect three points. And the order in which we connect the three points does not have any importance. So, I would say that the answer is a combination of three points out of nine. That's 84 possibilities. Um, are you sure you didn't forget anything? Oh, I know, I know. We must remember to subtract from these 84 possibilities those in which the three points are aligned because it forms a line segment, not a triangle. There are eight such possibilities to subtract from the 84. That's 76 different triangles that we can form even to try understand. I see a glint in his eyes. That's it. Come on, Morty, don't give up. You were almost there, hand in there. In the next episode, we are going to the casino for your first real challenge. We will deal you a hand of five cards from a deck of 50 tool cards. You're going to have to find out how many different possibilities of hands there are. <laughs> Easy and got it. If you manage, you will have to find how many of these possibilities have at least one ace. And if you manage to do that, how many possibilities of hands that have at least one ace or one heart? Oh man, that's tough. And if you're really clever, you'll have to find how many hands only have cards of two different suits at most. There are four suits in the game, spades, diamonds, hearts, and clubs. But it's so hard, Rick! I'll never make it! Rest assured, Morty, the Sorbonne students will get you out of this mess. The first person to give the four correct answers in the comments will earn a point in their enough. Your exam. Trust them, Morty, the Sorbonne is quite something. Your, Your turn! turn.